Hello everyone, my name is Rajiv Singha and I welcome you all to my channel Let's Code Buddy. Today, we're going to solve another problem. The problem looks like this, using concept of... Now, when the problem is given like this, what to do? When I get such problem, what I basically do is this. First of all, I make some gaps over here. There are some gaps, okay? There are two gaps, there is one gap here. Now, if you have seen my earlier videos regarding um, related with this topic, and there I have explained how to make patterns. Now, in this case, what I am going to do is, first of all, I am going to name the lines. K equals to 1, K equals to 2, and K is equals to 3. From here, what I will do, I will make up a, my outer loop for K is equals to 1, K is less than or equals to 3 and K should increment this and curly basis here. Now, second, since I have to print X, before printing X, I have to print the gaps or the spaces. For that, what I will do, I will draw do like this. For I, for the gaps I am using I, I is equals to 1, I should be less than or equals to, take this 3, write it here, after that minus, remember this line, K, you bring it here. And I plus plus and printf space and then okay. Now see this when k value will be 1, 3 minus 1 is how much? 2. I is how much? 1. 1 is less than equal to 2 means it will print, it will run 2 times and it will print 2 times spaces, 2 spaces. When K value will be uh, K value will be two. So three minus two will be how much? Three minus two will be one. One is less than equals to one. It means it will print only one space. Now, after printing the two spaces, I have to print x. For that, what I will do? I will again use for loop for j. For x, I am using j j is equals to 1 and j should print only one time after that two time after three time so less than equals to copy and paste the k here and let us check whether it is working or not printer x and close it here now when k value would be 1 when k is 1 line number 1 k value would be 1 line number 2 k value will be 2 line number 3 k value will be 3 when k equals to 1, line number 1, j is 1. 1 is less than equals to 1, it will print 1 time x. After it should go down, for that I will write printf new line. Now after this, what I will do? I will close my loop here. Now when k value will be 2, that is line number 2, what would happen? j is 1, 1 is less than equal to 2, it will run for j equals to 1, x, when j equals to 2, it will be x. After that, it will come here, when j is 3, when k value is 3, from j, j will run from 1 to 3. It means, it will print 3, uh, it will print 3 times x. Okay, so it means it is correct. Now, what I am going to do is, So this particular line will generate my code. I am going to complete the entire code. Okay, I use k, i and j. So let us declare integer k, integer i, integer j. Anything else? Nothing. After that semicolon here. Before that integer mean should be there. And uh, early base should begin here. And it should end here somewhere. Now here if I use main function I will write return 0. And above which I will write hash include standard input output dot h. So this entire code will print your desired output. Now you already know how to read this code. It's very simple. First of all, see the outer loop. This one. Case one different one. Now how I gonna how I get this is this. I will make lines k is equals to 1, k is equals to 2, k 
k is equals to 3 here. Now, when k value is 1, there is 3 minus 1, which is how much? 2. 3 minus 1 is how much? 2. So, i is 1. 1 is less than or equal to 2, it will run 2 times here. So, it will print 2 spaces. 1 space, 2 space here. After that, control will go here. If the, once the condition is wrong, control will go here. j is 1. 1 is less than or equal to k. Now, what is the value of k? k is, oh, k is 1 here. So, 1 is less than or equal to 1, it will print x only one time. After that, the condition will be wrong in, after incre uh, increment incrementing the value. The 2 will be there. After that, it will go to the print of n here. New line, which is this. The cursor will move to the new line. After that, what happened? The control will flow here. From here, it will be going to the k plus plus. k value was 1. Now, it will be 2. 2 is less than or equal to 3. Now, all the values of k will be changed here. 3 minus 2. Now, 3 minus 2 is how much? 1. 1 is less than or equal to 1. The condition will be true and it will print only one space here. And after that, it will go down here. When here k value is how much? 2. So it means j is 1. 1 is less than or equal to 2. Yes, it is. It will print one time x here. Again, it will increment it. It will be 2 less than or equal to 2. Again, print x here. Again, it will 3. 3 is not less than or equal to 2. It means condition is wrong. Print f n. So it means here, new line here. Again, it will go here k value will be changed. k value is how much? k value is 2. Now it will be 3. 3 is less than or equal to 3. It means all the values, yes, condition is true. It will get inside the loop. And 3 minus, uh, how much? 3 minus 3 is 0. So it will print no spaces over here. Directly, it will be going here. It means, now after that, what would happen? k is value is 3. Now, j is 1. 1 is less than equal to 3. It will print x here. After that, 2. j value will be 2. j value will be 3. j value will be 4. Once the j value is 4, the uh, condition is wrong. And it will go to the next line. Again, it will go this 4. Now, 4 is less than equal to 3. No condition is wrong. It will jump out of this entire loop. And then, then we will get the desired result. I hope you understood this. Entire, your code would look like this. code would look like this. This is your entire code. Hope you have learned something from this video. Hope you have learned the uh, solution of uh, this kind of uh, patterns using nested loop. And I thank you all for being the part of this video. To like and subscribe the channel and meet you all in the next video. Thank you all.